my trees isn't working. I'm worried about my potato and trees. I need to leave enough time to cook my elk, and I'm pressed for time right now. She is so concerned with her trees, she's not paying any attention to her elk. If she doesn't get the elk on in the next five minutes, it is over for her. Come on, Mom. I can tell you right now, Tammy looks worried for her. I think Lynn's unraveling. What the hell did I get myself into? Like, what was I thinking? Lynn and David, you both served us very impressive appetizers, but two more decisive courses lie ahead. Your entree and your dessert. So David, what entree will you be cooking for us? Today, I'm gonna be doing a take on a classic Portuguese dish of pork and clams. These are flavors that my mom taught me. I hope I get this right. Lynn, how about your entree? I will take you for a walk in an enchanted forest. My inspiration comes from going hunting with my mom and my dad when we were little. Tammy inspired me to use elk. I am making elk tenderloin in an enchanted potato forest. You will have 60 minutes to create the best entree you have ever made. Your time starts now! I've never cooked with elk before. It's very risky and might be very stupid, but this is the MasterChef Canada finale. I'm gonna beat Lynn this round. I'm elevating this classic, simple Portuguese dish by using the wild boar, cooking it confit in duck fat and gooey duck from the West Coast. My favorite clam, actually. He's taking a technique which takes hours and hours to prepare properly. How is he gonna pull that off? Also, yeah. he's taking gooey duck, which is tougher than normal clams. When they're overcooked, they're like rubber bands. There is no margin for error. Lynn's also chosen a game meat. Elk is very lean. Cooking has to be done very subtly. That will take about 12 to 15 minutes to cook and five to six minutes to rest. Wow, Mom, you look good. That's amazing. Wow, Lynn, what are you going to be doing with these uh, spun potatoes? I'll be making trees. How do you plan to do that? I'm going to wrap it around a wine glass to get the shade, and then I will deep fry them. Oh, that's a unique approach. Look at this beautiful elk here. Have you cooked with elk before? I've never cooked with elk. You never have? Nope. Sometimes you have to take risks, because if you don't, you'll never get ahead, chef. Well, I admire that ambition. Thank Best you. Best of luck with it. Yeah. You got this, David. Here we go, brother. David, are you concerned that you picked raising meat for such a time-sensitive challenge? This is oil. Yes. And I can leave my finger in here. Yeah, just nice and slow. Nice and slow for a challenge like this. I believe that the rounds are small enough that they'll cook through. I want to get that to a medium, and then I'm going to throw it in the fryer. And what about the gooey duck? It's also a very challenging protein to work with. It is, truly. I have worked with gooey duck a lot. It's just simply not overcooking it. You're taking a lot of risks here. I am. And if you pull this off, I'm going to be very impressed. Well, best of luck. Thank you, Chef. You got it, babe. You have 30 minutes left. One of my trees isn't working. I'm worried about my potato and trees. I need to leave enough time to cook my elk, and I'm pressed for time right now. She is so concerned with her trees, she's not paying any attention to her elk. If she doesn't get the elk on in the next five minutes, it is over for her. Come on, Mom. I can tell you right now, Tammy looks worried for her. I think Lynn's unraveling. What the hell did I get myself into? Like, what was I thinking? But I know I can do this. The star of this play is going to be the well boar. Porky goodness. Here we go, David. You got this, man. Ooh, yeah, David. Looking good, man. Yeah, baby. Five minutes, and this time you should be playing. Flip your all time. 
Look what's happening over here, gentlemen. I'm working at Super Ninja Speed to get everything on the plate. She is building those plates. Unbelievable. That's the way I like it. One minute. You have one minute left. Come on, one minute. This plate is so important. This is everything. Fun, it's quirky, it's artistic, like me. As I look at my dish, I'm happy with it. It looks like a restaurant quality dish. David, please bring up your entree. This entree is very personal to me. I just hope I'm making my mom proud. My dish is a wild boar belly with gooey duck clam and brown butter carrot puree. It's an exquisite looking dish. David, you're taking the inspiration from clam and pork. I mean, that's just right up my alley. You know, Asians, we love to mix seafood with meat. Do eat that clam with this wild boar, perfect compliment. And the combinations of textures of everything, it just goes together. The clam is so tender. It is the thing of beauty. Very sophisticated, humble dish from a very sophisticated, humble chef. Your wow factor on this plate is the wild boar belly. Herbs and a little citrus seasoned beautifully. Absolutely delicious. We chefs love to be surprised. And you surprised us with this dish. Nicely done. Thank you. Lynn, please bring your dish up. I hope the judges don't think it's too extravagant or show-offy and that they get my story and my creativity. My dish is a butter-basted elk tenderloin in a potato forest, a bed of a celery root puree. Lynn, your dish. It has a real flamboyance to it, and you've definitely connected with the ingredients. I think you made one error, though. Something's not perfect on my plate. You spent most of your time with your potato, which I don't think should be the star of the show here. It's the elk. The elk is just a little rare. That's the only fault on the whole dish. Everything else is seasoned properly. The puree is lovely. Just the elk. I mean, the elk, seasoned beautifully, caramelized all the way around, absolutely beautiful, but it's just a hair on the underdone side. The celeriac puree has that slightly sweet, earthy flavor, a beautiful accompaniment. This is the kind of enchanted forest I could visit. Then. I love stories on a plate, and that story enchanted me. The potatoes and the way it's shredded in the perfect season, you can just eat this all day. All the ingredients, they go together. Enchantment magics happen. Thank you very much. Please head back to your station and get ready to make dessert. I think I made my mom proud with the wild boar and the gooey duck. I missed the mark. My elk is a bit undercooked for the liking of the judges. Once again, we've seen two incredibly strong and different dishes. David's was very much connected in his Portuguese background. He managed to pull off that wild boar belly. Remember, I was the one that was most skeptical about his wild boar. The gooey duck was a knockout punch for me. I thought it was the most sensational, tender, flavorful gooey duck I've ever had. His presentation could have had just a touch more zing to it, whereas Lynn's, the presentation was Wow, big time. I love the story of her childhood. That really touched me. But the elk was undercooked. The overall concept doesn't work if the proteins are undercooked. This competition is so close, a lot is resting 
on the dessert.